a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today not the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for the massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now now within just hours left for Bola Tinubu to be sworn in as the 16th president of nigeria there's a call for review of the election that threw him up and refused to go away as at Friday this week, the legal challenges against his declaration as winner of that presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission has been summarily dealt with, not just by the Presidential Election Petitions Court, but also by the Supreme Court, which also serves as Nigeria's constitutional court. But in the democratic spirit of the majority having their way and the minority having their say, we now usher in our next guest, Victor Vishne, the presidential candidate of Democratic Alternative during the last elections. Good to have you here. Good morning to you. Good, Good morning. morning to you, Victor. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure to have Good you morning. here. Good yeah. morning. Now, you're one of those who has been quite Thank vocal. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. You've been quite vocal about what you deem mm. uh, irregularities and malpractice within the last general elections. How would you say your views have been received so far? As we know, Inauguration Day is now upon us. Well, I don't know how well it's been received because I have not had any response. My primary call is upon the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Uh, Alaji uh, Muhammadu Buhari, and my secondary call is upon Nigerians of goodwill. And what is my call? My call is simple. We are patriotic Nigerians. We are not asking for revolution. We are not asking for arms, people to carry arms. We are not asking for anything untoward. We are asking that the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, be abided on. But the president, the fact of the matter, it is not a question of sentiment. The fact of the matter is that Mr. President violated, infracted, transgressed on the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The day of, the vote, of, voting, of, of his voting for the presidential candidate, whether he did it knowingly, unknowingly, whether he was in covenant with any person, whether it was of his own volition, it doesn't matter. He is the commander in chief. He is the most influential Nigerian. He is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law, the law does not respect any person. Now, how can we march forward and say we are swearing in another president? If the last president violated the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and by virtue of the constitution, which he is standing on, he cannot be prosecuted because he has immunity. The police cannot arrest him. Aina cannot touch him. No one can touch him but himself. So I'm calling on him primarily. Mr. President, you are not above the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You violated the law. You infracted the law. You transgressed the law. The noble thing for you to do, the best thing for you to do in your own best interest and in the best interest of this nation is to cancel that very election where you violated. Recuse yourself from conducting the next election. Let your vice president conduct the next election and let there be a new presidential election where the laws will not be violated. It is a simple thing. And that is my call to the president and my call to, the fellow, to, to my fellow Nigerians. I stand on the flag. As you see, I'm wearing a green suit and a white shirt. It's not my wound to do that always. I'm standing on the flag. 
I'm standing on the Constitution. I'm standing on the rule of law and calling upon the good people of this nation not to carry arms, not to do anything violent, but to stand by for the fight for Nigeria. We must, we must fight for this country. It is our country. Thank you very much. Okay. Um let me just very quickly take a few steps back. And uh, we know that your party, the Democratic Alternative Party, did not participate in the 2023 polls as it had been initially deregistered from the process. And then you got restored by the Court of Appeal. Uh, the entire process made it impossible for you to really participate. But we know as of today that the ship has set sail. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, um, the president-elect, uh, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, will be sworn in on Monday, the 29th of May. That process has changed. What are your thoughts moving forward? Because that cannot be changed. Well, uh, the truth is that I don't know on what you are standing when you say it cannot be changed. The election, the swearing in that you are talking about, is based on the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I ask you a question. Is it, was it lawful that the president of Nigeria violated the Constitution? So that's what I'm saying. That swearing in should be canceled. And the only person, whether he does it by executive uh, uh, um, veto, executive um, um, whatever, what, however he does it, he created the situation. He has murdered sleep. He, Muhammad Buhari, is the only one that can cancel it. And that is the way forward for me. The swearing in is a violation of our constitution. You can't stand on a violation to impose another violation or not, or not a constitutional matter on us. Was it right, was it right for Mr. President to display his voters, his ballot uh, card, and to tell Nigerians, and thus influence the generality of Nigerians, that he was voting for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It wasn't. It's not my opinion. I don't have to be a lawyer. I know, and you know, and every one of us know that it, is, it was wrong. So if he knows, and the generality of Nigerians know, that this was wrong, why do we waste time going to the Supreme Court? Why do we waste time going to the tribunal? Why do we waste time saying it is inevitable? It must be done. Why must it be done if it was against the law? If the swearing in of Bola Ahmed Tinubu was wrong, and, and that is my position, and that's where I stand. So I do not understand okay. you when you say that it must be done. I am calling on the president in his own interest primarily in his own interest. He has a place in history. Whether he, he, whether he accepted, he accepts that he violated the laws or not. Whether he says the election was free and fair, as he's been saying, or not. It doesn't matter. The point of the matter is that before Mr. Vishnay, the global audience, Mr. Vishnay, and we live in a, a global village. Mr. Vishnay, yes, yes what, what we all know is that yes. the Constitution allows only one person to say that the election has been conducted and the result of that election has been announced and that is INEC. If INEC is found wanting by your party or any other individual, the right of those individuals of that, or that political party will be to go to court. And there are parties already in court. We can't discuss their cases until the final decision is there. One of the decisions has been taken in terms of whether um, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu and uh, Mr. Shetima should be uh, not allowed to be sworn in. That has been struck out by the Supreme Court. That means that what they're standing on is what INEC has allowed and what INEC has pronounced as the final result. Having said that, what do we do going forward? Because we can't continue to say that, oh, no, they should not be sworn in on uh, Monday. They cannot be sworn in on the basis that you have to go to court. And the court is the only one that can change that. If the court changes it between today and Monday morning, then we have something that we can say has changed. But for now, it stands. What do we do going forward? What would you recommend going forward? Because you can't change what is there now, Mr. Vishne, unless you go to court. Well, 
what is the confidence we have in our institutions? Take the courts that you have mentioned. What confidence should we, as citizens of this country, have in the court of the, in the court? My party went to court on this pre-election matter about 10 months before the elections. And for about 10 occasions, 10 sittings in the court, INEC would never came. And INEC was always served. And INEC would, uh, would not come. And the judge would not give judgment. He kept saying that INEC should come. And at the nick of time, when, at the, after the tenth time, I think, I wasn't there, remember? It was the, uh, uh, um, the party chairman and the party that was handling it. At the nick of time, he said, OK, on a Friday, I think, he said, I'm going to give judgment finally on Monday because I have given them enough notice. I have given them enough chance to come. And if they haven't come these 10 times, I will now give judgment on Monday. And on Friday night, I was listening to the news on your channel, incidentally, and the chief judge of the Federal High Court of Nigeria announced that all pre-election matters must now go to the tribunal to a new tribunal he was setting up. So I reckoned that it was not going to affect our party case. So I flew from Abuja to Lagos on Monday morning. And when I got to the court, the judge was annou had announced that the matter had been taken away from him. And the new judge in the tribunal started. And the same process started. He said he wasn't going to take precedence from what the other court was saying. The new uh, uh, judge uh, in the tribunal started. And the same process started. INEC wouldn't come. And until the last minute, he now gave the judgment such as he gave. Because I understand. Again, remember, I have said I wasn't there. It was a report that was given to me by my party chairman. That on one of the days before in the court, because INEC didn't come, he was saying, why should we? I think this, that was the second time or the third time in the tribunal that INEC uh, uh, wouldn't come. And on that day, he said, OK, they must be forced to come. And then he called for the next case. And when the next case was called, there was a lawyer representing INEC. And he got angry with the lawyer and said, you've been sitting there, and you didn't respond all this way. And the lawyer said, oh, I wasn't briefed to come for that case. And, I was, and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, the judge gave his judgment. And we, he said, you can go to appeal, because there was no time. It was not time All right, uh, Mr. Vishnu. And he all said, right. you can go to no, I want to make a point about the judiciary. Sorry, please. Yes, don't I be want us to do, a, do it in offended. good time because He's, we don't have a lot of it left. Please, sir. Please finish okay, quickly, so yes. He, he now said, you can go to appeal. And we went to appeal. And by then, the Supreme Court had given judgment on the Youth Party case on the 2nd of December. So on the 5th of December, we applied. And it's in writing for CTC, for the certified true copy. It was an issue to us until the 6th of February, from the 5th of December when we applied to the 6th of February. And you ask that I should have confidence in the court? Why should I? Who put hope Uzodima in Imo State? Was that the will of the people or was that the will of the Supreme Court? Why should I have confidence? It is about time that Nigerians rose to the occasion. We don't have confidence in these institutions. All right. We don't have confidence. I don't have confidence in the, in, in the, in the courts. I'm saying it openly. Right. I don't. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Victor Vishne, for being. Yes, so my people, as I told them, I say I will come back. I don't come back. I will come back. As soon as I see that video, I will not watch. I will not see him. I want more to leave on a comment for the comment section there. More to tell me how we na see the matter, whether it good or it bad. If it good, make una let me know. If it still bad, me una still let me know. So if it they right, we na still leave on a comment below. If it they bad, we na still leave on a comment below. We na remember say everybody gets freedom of speech. Okay, all right. Thank you very much.